Well, it has been an eventful day or so. So many changes. So what's the latest from Governor Evers? NBC 26's Juliana Falk has more after hearing from the governor. Juliana? Governor Evers and state officials said they were disappointed in the Wisconsin Supreme Court's decision yesterday and warned about what it could mean for the state. Because of the court's decision, many more people could get sick and overwhelm our hospitals. But not if we stay the course and stay home. Just because Republicans said it can be a free-for-all, that doesn't mean we have to throw out good judgment. And while the statewide safer at home order is no longer in effect, in some cases rules are now different county by county. We're essentially uh, uh, mile by mile there may be different rules across all of the state of Wisconsin, all the state of Wisconsin. So disappointed in that. But some Republican lawmakers say they feel the approach is appropriate. The vast majority of counties have 10 cases or less and almost nobody in the hospitals. So those counties should be able to decide for themselves what's best for their communities, just like uh, counties that are experiencing outbreaks should be able to uh, do what they need to do to, to keep people safe. Republican State Representative Jim Steinecke also said he's hoping businesses are using the Wisconsin Economic Development Corporation's guidelines for reopening. If Menards and Home Depot and all these other big box stores can funnel thousands of people through every day, and we don't have any issues. I think smaller retailers can do the same thing if they're taking similar measures. Governor Evers continues to encourage people to do their part, wearing masks, social distancing, staying home if possible, and limiting travel. As for what's next, Governor Evers said he did talk with Republican legislative leaders today. He said he didn't hear anything about a plan and expects they will talk again next week. Live in Green Bay, Juliana Falk, NBC 26.